guess what? Our staycation continues on. We did move to the Mighty Ducks rooms, which this needs to close right now because uh, I do a lot of private things in private that I don't want anyone to see. Nope. I was definitely kidding about that last statement, but if you did wanna um, see me sleeping. I can't turn this down any lower than 68, and I'm actually super hot right now. What is the room temperature? 76, that's why I'm hot. This happened to me at Pop Century, and I had the guy in here at like midnight, one o'clock, because it wasn't getting colder, and the fan was broken, or some kind of bibble blabble I didn't understand, but. For the next day, I requested a pool room. Not exactly like a pool room, but my room's here. The stairs are right here, so I have been using the stairs, which is great for the glutes, you know? I know that in my last video I said if I was stuck in the Mighty Ducks rooms, I wouldn't even stay. I'm staying. I'm gonna be grateful. Grateful I can even have a mini staycation. I'm just going to pretend we're not in the Mighty Ducks rooms. This is the Toy Story rooms because I'm five years old and throwing a temper tantrum about which rooms I got. Even though the rooms are all the same. See? So I mean, we are pretty darn close. It's honestly really late and I'm pretty tired. We kind of just got here and got settled in. So we're going to go to sleep, wake up tomorrow, Mickey waffle it, maybe. Kind of expensive to keep Mickey, Mickey, Mickey waffling it up while we're here, so we'll see. Any guesses where we're going? You got it, SeaWorld. All right, we have 20 minutes to get to the food court so we can make it to breakfast. I already did this, but I have to go get my retainer. My teeth are looking wacky, and I need to start really wearing it often. I wasted my life having bruises twice, and we better go get that retainer. Time is ticking, the race is on, the retainer is in, and we have 10 minutes to get to the food court. Oh boy, no. See, so we can kind of just pretend that this is where we were staying last night. Like, the room is the same. It's just when you open your door, you're just greeted with um, really ugly stuff, but not over here. It is a very windy day, which is not good for girls that have bangs. That's kind of cute. I mean, it is. Like that they're like attempting to make like cute merch with what they can. Nothing on earth smells more like vacation than these things. Our food is ready. Mickey waffles. So we got the kids one, and I love that they use these boxes. I mean, I know we have to use paper straws, but they're using an entire box for one piece of sausage, one piece of bacon, and to put the waffles in. When they could have put it all together, it's just kind of funny. So here's my best advice. Get a kid's Mickey waffle meal and make waffle surprises for breakfast because they're only $6 and you get a drink. Now to really make this feel like a vacation. Take in the buses. I thought that I missed this, but um, when you're in line for like an hour waiting for a bus, you don't. And here it comes. It's so cute. I, I mean, they are cute. And shockingly, the shortest line is the Magic Kingdom line, and usually, wow, well, okay, yeah, that's really loud. All right, they do assign us our bus seats on these uh, buses. I just need to get into the mindset that I am not a local. I am here on vacation, and that's that's the mindset I want to be in. Okay, this is our once a year vacation. What do we want to do first? Oh crap, here comes poo. It's like 12 o'clock, so pretty much we rope drop today, and like my eyes. So I think we're gonna head over and do the people mover. What a perfect vacation day. The ducks are out doing their uh, duck stuff. The leaves are blowing, my, my ears are falling off. Everything's going perfect. And yeah, I think 
think we're gonna start this like wonderful vacation day at my favorite land. So our rope drop attraction has quite a line and it is very windy and I don't have a dead cat for my camera. So I'm just gonna do the best that I can. I started filming the people, I mean the carousel of progress because I was like, that even has quite a line. So I've been trying to just wait it out, but the ride has been stopped for a while, like maybe like 10 minutes now. Oh no, they're all going backwards. Oh wait, they're going forwards. I am an absolute idiot. Not, not the brightest crayon in the box when it comes to things sometimes. The people are moving themselves. Oh, blurry. Waiting for the people mover was totally worth waiting for. I'm really glad I don't have to go to the bathroom right now. They have now turned on the lights. Darn it, I wanted an evac. Oh boy, that sure was fun. What are we gonna do next? Next, Buzz Lightyear. And you know what we're gonna be today? Galactic Heroes. As I noticed, we're no longer like social distancing, it appears. I think we should go back, but we should do it 12 feet instead. I am gonna be a galactic hero today. You watch me. There's a lot of people out there that don't believe in me, but I believe in me, and that's all that anyone needs in their life. This is serious crap. I've gotta let you guys go for now. I don't even wanna talk about it, ever, with anyone. Don't ever ask. I wanted to be a galactic hero so bad, and I failed everyone today. Myself, you guys, my employer, everyone is upset with me now. How perfect. We're making our way to our mobile order. It's actually the first time I've ever really ate here before. I know the other day I got a drink here, but I've never really consumed food here. All right, dining at Pickles. Okay, so I ordered the tacos. I did order them all chicken, they are beef. I didn't realize until I even got over here. But it comes with like your little things to make them yourself. And I didn't know the cheese was liquid. I thought it was gonna be the, um, the fluffy cheese, but they, they look a little wet. We'll see. I don't think I'd ever do this again. I have assembled my first taco and I just took a bite and I don't believe I would ever get this ever again. All right, I've kind of made like an assembly line here like where I like took all the meat off and I'm like putting the meat on as I want because they put way too much meat on. I like meat, but I'm not like, I want meat everywhere. You know, like, oh, yeah. let's, this is the beef. I hate my life. Unbelievable. The line for Pirates is insane. It says 45 minutes, but it's all the way down here by Jungle Cruise. Well, it didn't come all the way out, but it faded a lot. So at least if I get home and like put like Resolve or Stain Stick on it, it should maybe come out. Well, it just decided to start raining. And um, I was getting ready to go over to Thunder Mountain because it's only 15 minute wait, it says on the app. And I know that goes down for refurbishment pretty soon. I think we're just gonna walk through and keep getting wet. I don't wanna walk around with beef juice on my leg. But I guess we're gonna have to just beef <laughs> Beef it. Jungle Cruise Line, all the way. Oh, we're zoomed in so far. All the way to the Swiss house. Well, my ears blew off my head. The wait times are pretty intense, so I think we're gonna go see some resorts. I don't mean to record another person, first, but please look at these ears. Hands. My little... Okay, I'm actually really excited for this idea. So, I came up with on my own. <laughs> we're gonna take the boat and go to the Poly and hang out at the resorts for a little while. And, you know, like, Get out of the parks for a little bit. Look at how windy it is. These are the hurricane palms. You can tell they are blowing over. We are here. For your sake. That wasn't even bad. Look at me. Oh my goodness. Don't look at me actually. All right. I feel bad because I was the last one that was allowed on that boat and then I left these two people there and I was like, if you don't mind, you guys can sit with me, I can sit on my party three. He's like, we don't mind, but he was like, no. I am having a full-blown panic attack. There are, I don't even know if you guys can see them flying around. There are bees everywhere, 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 all over, from down here on this part of the beach and 
all over this beach. And if you don't know me, oh my God, there's one right by my leg. Oh my God, I can't do this. I have to get away from the beach. My biggest fear in the entire world besides my loved ones dying is bees. Be 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 they're everywhere. I can't even breathe. I'm like literally freaking out, freaking out. <sighs> I can't do it. I had to come in here and take a break because I had to run for my life right there. They were coming after me. They were the white butt hornets, you know, the ones that have like the black and white spots versus like the yellow jackets. They will come and get you for no reason. They were following me down the pathway and they're like, they're kind of like, give me your money. But they're like, I'm gonna kill you. I was so scared. It's not even hot out and I'm dying now. Okay, so I just want you guys to understand a little bit more about the species of wasp that, I mean, bees I was talking about. They're not exactly hornets, but they are called, they, they're they called white butt hornets. And um, they have a real name. I don't know exactly what it is, but you can look it up. Anyway, these bees are known to be very aggressive and they come after you and they will sting you repeatedly over and over and over until they feel like they have completed your death. And it's really not good for anyone that gets stung by them because they don't give up and they spit venom. So it's not even like it's a normal bee sting or anything like that because they will literally just keep stinging you, like I said, until they do feel like your death has been completed by them. And it's not good. And I mean, I don't mind dying at Disney, but I don't want it to be by bees is all. So that's why we're in this situation. In light of that stress, this calls for a dull whip. Oh, I need to get a lay. All right, every time I get chased by a bee, I usually try to get myself a Dole Whip to calm down. And I think we're going to get the, the float one. I don't know that this is going to take all of my pain away, but I think it definitely will help. And these chairs are so low that this is like my eye level. I'm feeling much better. So it is a proven fact that pineapple juice helps tremendously with bee sting swelling and um, it's not like you apply it to topically or anything like that. You don't take pineapple juice and pour it directly on the bee stings. What you're supposed to do is you ingest it through a straw and um, it's, it, it works much better if you use vanilla ice cream with it. So I think we're going to have a better night now. And I'm sure many of you are wondering if I even actually got stung. Like, or am I doing okay? Like, how are the, the, the stings? I didn't. But I am going to do this method just prophylactically. So, you know, protection. What if it does happen? I don't know what I saw, but the sign is still here. So, that was like yesterday I saw that. Okay, so the hours and information signs is what has been taken down and they said they pulled any bit of merch out of the gift shop here. Now we're gonna walk over to the Grand Floridian, which is so funny, you know the people I was just talking about that I just left on the dock. Um, I just ran into them, they just got over here. So it probably took them like half hour to walk from, the, um, from Magic Kingdom to get to the Poly. I've done it before. I think from Grand Floridian to Magic Kingdom is like 20 minutes and to get from the Grand Floridian to here is like 10, 15. So it's really not that bad. But here's that sand where the hornets are. And they're in this one too. They are all over down there. I am not even kidding you guys. Everywhere over here. They're on the path, they're over here in the bushes. They are on the path, they're over here in the sand. I don't know, look at how many there are. I have to just pretend I didn't see it and just keep going. I can't do it, I can't do it. There's so many, there's so many, there's so many, there's so many. I don't know where to go. Oh my God, oh my God. I mean, no trouble. I have nothing on me that you guys would ever want from me. Why are there more up here? Why are they everywhere? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I don't know what they want from me. I have nothing of interest to you. <gasps> look at them all down there having a powwow talking about how they're going to kill me on my way back. Joke's on you, all of you, all 150 of you. I'm not going to be coming back this way. So, there's a wedding happening. They're doing their wedding pictures. And I'm going to be in the background on the beach running from bees. We made it. We really almost died. Sincerely. Because I'm very allergic to bees. Okay, I may not be allergic to bees. 
but I've had a lot of things happen with bees in my life. We barely made that. I mean, um, I did almost have like 800 close encounters right there. I don't know how we even got over here without getting stuck. I mean, seriously, I'm not even being over dramatic. Oh my God, there's even more over here. I need to, oh, they're right behind me. I can't escape. That was horrible. So I just spent so much time charging up my battery as per usual and trying to find a fuel rod it's not inside of the grand floridian you have to go outside go to the convention center and that's where the fuel rod thing is over here in the convention center i've never been in here how cool is this bathroom so the bathrooms in the convention center are really really cute and like they have like a vanity which i'm sure it's so that girls can like get ready for like whatever things they're doing like I don't know, like wedding stuff maybe, or like cheering stuff or something. Maybe fixing their retainer because they have a horrible lisp with it. I love hanging out here because it reminds me of like so many happy times. Not just like even here, I mean like here, here. I remember one night sitting out here at this actual patio and they were doing testing around three o'clock in the morning i was still out here for the castle and i got to see these really awesome projections that i never ended up seeing in real life that was neat and isn't it cool how you can see like out there the waves have like the white part to them and then over here they don't like you can see where the line is where the buildings stop the wind pretty cool can anyone explain to me why i keep hearing the train going off it's not a boat. I'm telling you right now, it's not a boat. It is 100% the train, but I don't know if it's like a periodic thing they do. I just heard it twice in the last 10 minutes. So I was going to try to see if I could get it on film. It probably won't happen now. So I'm being a totally whiny baby right now. And I'm like, I don't want to go back to the room. It's only seven o'clock. What can I do instead? And I'm like, I didn't go to the contemporary. So why don't I go just sit there and waste time? As someone who hates the wind, if I was getting married today, I would be so sad. I'm only saying that because I think that the reception is over here. I saw the bride. She was in the Grand Floridian taking pictures. Her dress was absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it was like princess, like poofy, and then it had sleeves. If I could pick a dream dress, I, it would have been her dress. She looked amazing. But there's no way like I wouldn't be able to like incorporate like Mickey on my dress or like somehow like something you know something along those lines like you know my pearl ears I would have that like somewhere you know like something like that now he's playing tale as old as time Every time I go up and down these stairs, all I think about is like being like Cinderella. It's probably because Disney always uses these to like advertise like be a princess at Disney World today. I am a princess at Disney World today at All Star Movies, thank you. Now that we're at the Contemporary, I'm kind of like, why are we at the Contemporary? I don't know. Let's just kind of, let's go outside. So something different is that when I used to go up these stairs, when I would get to the top, I couldn't even speak a sentence for probably like a good 15 minutes until I finally had caught my breath. So to be able to run up these stairs and talk, I mean, I'm not talking like perfectly. I'm obviously I'm out of breath, but it feels like a very big life accomplishment. Oh, oh. Jokes on you guys, I didn't just go up those. <laughs> so that that wasn't my voice going up those. It is so windy out that I'm like, why did I want to come out here? But because it's nice to be free, you know? Have your mask off, enjoy the world and the sunset and the fiesta. Look at that sky. Camera doesn't pick it up very good on these, but it's beautiful. Well, it is officially checkout day. I I needed this sad song. But look, Stacy's not working. Where is it? 
Disney must do. This is not Disney must do. Where's Stacy? Even must do Disney for um, the Spanish channels is not Stacy. It's some Disney coin spinning around. Well, all good things have to come to an end eventually. Oh, there's already people swimming around. Everybody's out and ready to go. I'm acting like it's really late. I literally pushed it again like till 1030. I have to do the dirty laundry. Like I said in my last video, I do not like to go home with dirty clothes. So I can listen to some K-pop and do some laundry. Okay, yet again, we are super pushing it and we have five minutes to get there. Titanic, go to America in five minutes. Me too, little buddy. I figured you guys already have like seen my breakfast like 14 times. So, I mean, I just decided to uh, consume it. Well, laundry's done. Time to go get my babe. 